And now I'm going to move on to another illustration. And what I want to talk about here is working with a profile, a variable width profiles. I'm going to change my workspace here. This is kind of my regular working space, so I can see the stroke panel. And this illustration was created very simply using the pencil tool and variable width profiles that are here at the bottom of the stroke panel. And all of these are just included and always sitting down here ready for you to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on just one of these paths here to kind of load it up so I can see I've got my stroke and the, the stroke weight that I want and the profile that I want. And then I can go over here to another artboard where I've got a sketch that's locked down and I'm going to go to a layer above it and grab my pencil tool. And then I'm doing with this with a mouse, so this is not my favorite drawing tool in the world. But you can kind of trace your sketch there and it really couldn't be easier to just use these beautiful width profiles to create more stylish line work. And I love it too because when I'm working with the pencil tool, I can just delete and draw again because those are selected. All right, so I have two tips for you here. One, very important, if you want to draw live like that, if you want to grab your pencil tool and just keep drawing with that same profile, you're going to need to go and make sure you've got a setting set here in your appearance panel. So think of width profiles as appearances. They are going above and beyond that usual uniform stroke that we're used to getting by default. And right here in the options menu of the appearance panel, you see this setting here, new art has basic appearance. This is very often checked by default. Just make sure it's unchecked. We don't want basic uniform. We want to be able to draw repeatedly with the width profile that we've chosen here. All right, so that's one setting. And then another setting that we can use when you have the pencil tool selected, you can just hit enter or return or double click on the pencil tool and work with its options. And so I've got my smoothness cranked all the way up because I'm just drawing vines and they're really, they don't need to be accurate. They just need to flow and, and look beautiful. Then I've also got keep selected checked, which allows me to just draw a line and say, I missed it, delete, draw and delete like that. And then finally, edit selected paths. That's one of the defaults that I leave unchecked because it's just a, that editing behavior sometimes redraws lines as you're working with them, and I don't like that, so I uncheck this. Then what we can do, I'm going to turn off this sketch, is zoom in to one of these strokes, and we can use the width tool to edit it even further. So when you use the width tool on a stroke that has a width profile applied to it and you hover over the stroke, you'll begin to see these little white width points um, as you hover. And each one has a set of handles on it that you can drag to make the width wider or narrower like that, just clicking and dragging to create new points. And one of the ways I like to work here is to make a point that's kind of close to the end this allows me to control the taper. So instead of having a pointy taper, I can sort of work towards getting a more round or a blunt taper like that. So there's a lot that you can do with these. And I have more tips in my handout. You can use modifier keys like Option and Alt. Option allows you to adjust one handle at a time as opposed to both handles at a time like that. You can click and delete a point. You can double click on a point to get um, a box with more editing options in it here. So there's a lot that you can do with these. And once you've created one that you like, you'll actually see it appearing here in the stroke panel. But if you decide that's something you want to have in another file when you're working in Illustrator, again, you can always use this little button here to save it. You can also use the stroke weight to just increase the size proportionately of these like that. So that's a little bit about working with width profiles. And I just want to show you a couple examples of how I use them because they come in handy all the time. They work with transparency, like on these lines here. Um, they work with, with art brushes and pattern brushes. Um, they're great for you know creating just a little eyelash with some style there. Couldn't be quicker. 
something like this hair is perfect and the spiral tool even, you can uh, add it to a spiral path. They're very versatile. Um, this is some uh, width profile strokes with a gradient applied to it. So this is one of those features that you can kind of just build upon it. For example, here is a little road that I created. I have a copy of it right here. And if I go into the appearance panel, we can see this is a stack of width profiles. So I have a stroke on the top that's white and a stroke underneath that's gray. If I click on the top stroke and I go to my width tool, I can also taper this stroke. And then I can go back to the gray stroke and work with its width points and width handles. So these are stackable. Um, you can use it for hand lettering here. Create some serifs and adjust how much they're gonna flare out. Um, so they're incredibly versatile.